people were asking, how can we estimate the quantity of hollow blocks in a square meter? At papano daw malalaman natin kung ilang sako ng siminto ang isang square meter? At how can we estimate also the uh, rebars doon sa ginagawa nating hollow blocks, sa so wall, and uh, marami pang iba. So before we do that, just sit back and relax and listen to the details para malaman natin ang materials take off ng uh, ginagawa nating bahay o anumang structure na project natin. Okay? If you are not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button, slap the like button, and we'll get into the topic right now. At first, uh, those are hollow blocks, okay? So, uh, let's assume a wall of uh, one square meter. So, ito ay by area, okay? Kung ano yung area ng uh, wall natin. So, this is one meter. And this is also one meter. So, ito yung area natin, one by one. So now, paano natin makukuha yan? By area method. And, uh, let's say, naka-scale ito, okay? This is exactly one meter by one meter. Pero drawings lang ito, but if you scale it, kung scale mo to sa one meter, na one meter, at scale mo yung hollow blocks din, so, ito yung lalabas. Okay? So, now, ito yung hollow blocks. One hollow block. Yung size ng hollow block is uh, 10 by 20 by 40. So, yung 10 is 4 inches. So this is 4 inches hollow blocks, okay? That's it in hollow blocks, number 2. Number 2, half lang ito siya. And this is hollow blocks. Estimate lang natin na tayo and hollow blocks na nakatayo rin. So, let's put numbers. This is 1. Eleven, twelve, and since this is only uh, half of this one, so that's half, one half of hollow blocks. So in one square meter, the hollow blocks that we use is twelve and a half. That's what that would be twelve point five pieces. So. Whatever the area, kung ilang area ang uh, wall mo, sukatin mo lang yung area. And the area is, the formula ng area is length times width in meters. So, alam mo na yung length, alam mo yung width. So, makukuha mo yung area. Multiply mo lang ng 12.5, yun na yung number of seats B. Punta tayo dun sa mortar naman, okay? Dun sa mortar. Kung ilang sako yung magagamit natin doon sa isang, uh, isang square meter. O ilang uh, sand ang gagamitin natin. Okay? First things first, I will have to discuss the mixture of the sand and everything. Okay? Para sa mortar mix natin. So yung mortar mix natin, ang mixture is uh, different classes. Meron class A, meron class B, meron class C, and meron class D. Yung class A is uh, 1 is to 2, and yung class B naman is 1 is to 3, yung class C naman is 1 is to 4, class D is 1 is to 5. 1 is to 2, ibig sabihin nito ay uh, isang bag ng cement, and two um, box of sand. So, yun ang mortar mix natin. Ok? 
okay kasi walang walang gravel ito uh, it's just a mortar mix for the hollow blocks para makontinue natin yung uh, structure natin sa wall okay so 1 is to 2 class B 1 is to 3 class C 1 is to 4 class D 1 is to 5 what is 1 one bag of cement and 2 is a box of sand but how do you measure boxes of sand Kasi doon sa atin, ginagawa lang doon um, yung sako, ginagamit yung sako. But that is not the right way how to do it because hindi natin makukuha yung number one, yung mga uh, specifications ng yung simento. Like number one is yung workability of uh, concrete. Number two, yung strength. And number three, yung durability. Number four, is yung economy. So, ito yung mga importante, okay? Kasi, uh, yung ginagamit natin doon, yung sako-sako lang, hindi natin alam kung ano. So, yung durability ng uh, concrete natin, yung strength ay... Uh, na ko-compromise yung strength ng concrete. So, tuturo ko sa inyo kung pa paano gumawa ng first things first ito ang gagawin ninyo. Gawa kayo ng kahon na tama yung sukat. Okay? So, ganito yung sukat ng uh, ganito yung sukat ng box natin. box na gagamitin natin sa pagsusukat ng buhangin. Okay. Lagyan nito lagyan nyo ng handle para madali siyang hawakan. Okay, may handle. But, uh, ang importante dito yung sukat. Ito is uh, from top to bottom is 0 0.30 meters. This is a square. Square box. Ito naman inside diameter from here to here. This is also 0.30 meters. At itong isa itong isang side is the same thing. 0.30 meters. So, yan ang ginagamit natin pang sukat sa buhangin. Okay? Yung isang sako ng buhangin, ganito yung sukat na iahalo ninyo. Kung ano man uh, class yung gagamitin. Class A, Class B, Class C, or Class D. Pindi sa inyo. Sa inyong uh, uh, gusto. If it's Class D, isang sako, uh, limang ganito. Okay, so this is the right uh, dimensions, the right size for um, the mixture of sand and gravel. Okay, so now, kuha na natin ito, binigay ko na sa inyo, and uh, kukunin natin yung um, isang square meter. Like yung isang square meter area is equals to 1 times 1 equals 1 square meter, right? Now, kuha na natin yung uh, hollow blocks nito, number of seeds B equals 1 times 12.5. Diba? Sinabi ko 12.5 uh, ang imumultiply ninyo sa um, square meter. Okay? So, number of seeds B is equals 12.5. Say, 13 pieces na hollow blocks, yung isang square meter. Okay? okay. Now, kuha na natin yung uh, hollow blocks, 13 pieces, punta na tayo doon sa mortar. Okay? Okay. 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 Ok
Okay? Yung mortar, meron tayong mga constant uh, na factor doon sa cement, sand and cement. Yung cement natin, but, uh, yung factor natin is 0.525. Yung sand is equals to 0 0.0438. So, itong mga factors natin ay, this is uh, been uh, uh, coming from the experts, coming from the books, proven na ito. So, ginagamit ito in everyday life dun, dun sa mga construction, sa mga engineers na katulad natin. Uh, at uh, this is really proven and I've used it for so many years too. So, this is constant and uh, ito na talaga yung ginagamit natin. So now, by area method, so area is equals to one square meter. Now, uh, one square meter times 0 0.525 equals, um, and then this is the cement. Now, yung sand naman is going to one square meter then times 0 0.0438 same thing 0 0.525 and yung sand is the same thing kasi one lang ito 0 0.0438 cubic meter so yan alright guys take note on this one kasi ito yung factor na ito ay para sa class B mixture okay 0 0.525 and 0 0.0438 to a parsa class B mixture. So yung class B mixture natin, yung sinabi ko kanina, ito yung class B natin. 1 is to 3. 1 bag and 3 uh, three box of sand right here. So kung gagamit ka ng, uh, gagamit ka ng uh, class C mixture, 1 bag at uh, 4 boxes of sand, Ibang factor yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, kung class C, yung factor na gagamitin natin ay para sa cement, yung factor is zero, zero 0.394 and uh, para sa sand ay 0.0438 Ganun din. Parehas lang sa class B. 0.0438 Okay? Uh, ang quantity ng sand natin is 0 0.0438 So yung cement natin is almost half of the uh, bag. Oh no, this is not cubic meter. This is, uh, this is bag. 0.525 uh, bag of cement. So, almost one half lang siya. Okay? And ito naman sand is cubic meter yung ano natin, yung uh, sukat natin. So, dito sa cement, bags lang siya. So, 0.525 is one half bag. Yung magagamit sa isang buong square meter. So, ganito, ganyan ang um, by area method, okay? So, ano mang area yan, uh, at uh, alam mo na kung paano kumuha ng area, is, area is length times width, and then, uh, yung uh, factor, cement, 0 0.525, so makukuha mo na yung ilang bags, and then sand, point, uh, 0 0.0438, so kuha mo na yung cubic meter, kuha mo na yung quantity. So, makukuha mo na rin yung price, Magtanong ka doon sa hardware ninyo kung ilan, kung magkano yung cemento. So, multiply mo lang yung price and then kuha mo na yung estimate mo sa bahay mo. So, malalaman mo na yung ilan ang magagastos mo sa uh, project mo. Okay? So, yan lang muna sa araw na ito. Hindi pa na-discuss yung uh, paano natin makukuha yung quantity of uh, rebars doon sa hollow blocks natin. Yung ginagamit natin horizontal at uh, vertical uh, bars. That will be on the next uh, vlog. And uh, maraming salamat sa inyong <coughs> excuse me po. Panonood 
And I hope that uh, uh, mayroon na naman kayong natutunan. At uh, ito ay paunti-unti lang. Okay? So, we will see you in the next vlog. And peace out.